All right, I messed up. Hey, before we get started, I want to let you know this is the first video in my stereo upgrade series where I'll be covering upgrading the components in my 2019 Ram Rebel quad cab. Starting with this video where we disable the active noise canceling, I'll then be moving on to upgrading the speakers only, followed by adding an amp and DSP to improve the sound, and lastly, adding a compact subwoofer or two. This series will give you an idea of what to expect from each upgrade, so you can kind of determine how far you want to go. My end goal is crisp, clear, louder sound with good bass response, without compromising the already small rear seat area of the quad cab. So if you're interested in following along on this journey, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. I put in brand new speakers and no amp. Didn't think I need to worry about this till I got an amp. Uh, put in infinity reference speakers and I'm guessing just due to the difference in the speakers, all I hear is a loud drone once I start the car. So the backstory is I put the speakers in and each speaker set I tested out in accessory sounded amazing. As soon as I started the engine, you're going to hear a rumble. Now that rumble may not translate to you guys. I'm going to turn it off here. That rumble is deep and loud like, um, I don't know, like a bass track or something, but it's so often and so awful. The car is not drivable. I can't drive like this. Even with the stereo off, like the volume is off and it's just the active noise canceling. You've got the four microphones. You can't see them now. I'll show you in the daylight, but those microphones need to be disconnected. I'm going to go underneath my driver's seat, unplug the four mic connections, and that should fix my problem. This is the process I'm doing on my 2019 Ram Rebel with the six speaker stereo and the 8.4 inch Uconnect. If you have a different system, you may have to do some research to confirm what process you need to follow. You also don't need to deepen the connector. You can actually pick up an adapter harness from Pack Audio, which I'll link to in the description below. And this covers a wide range of vehicles. The Pack Audio module also comes with instructions on how to perform this operation on your Ram 1500, 2500, 3500, Jeep Grand Cherokee, and Chrysler Pacifica with different configurations of amplifiers and non-amplified systems. And the super cool thing about the Pack Audio Harness is the fact that if you plan on going with an amplified system in the future, all you need to do is pop that harness out, cut it in the middle, and it's clearly labeled which outputs go to your amplifier and which ones come back from your amplifier and go to your speakers. So you can easily add a system without touching or cutting any of your factory wiring. All right, so now up here on your roof line, you're gonna have four of these. These are the front, these two front ones are for voice commands and uh, phone. This one and that one, and then dead center on the screen you see back there. Uh, those are your active noise canceling microphones and those pick up sounds and the speakers attempt to play an alternating sound. What I didn't realize is once I got these new speakers, they have a wider range than the factory speaker. No amplifier yet. And what's happening was this, this nasty bass drone. You're gonna hear a rumble. All right, so this first step is the most important one. Not just moving your seat forward, but once you move it all the way forward, don't forget to move the back all the way up. So you wanna push up on this one, and that's gonna give you about six more inches of room because it just keeps going and going and going. So now you have tons of room to work. All right, so now that you got plenty of room to work back here, uh, you're gonna need a tweaker screwdriver and a deep pinning tool or some very sharp pick. Uh, I grabbed all these deep pinning tools off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description, but it'll cover pretty much any connector known to man. So the deep pinning process is pretty simple. Here's what you're gonna do. All right, so once you get inside here, you're gonna pull these two plugs out so you have room to work. All right, so once you've got it out, you've got the push button side here, flip it over, and this is the lock side. What you want to do is you want to reach into the side with your tweaker screwdriver and basically push this up hop over to the other side and push it up only comes up about an eighth of an inch as you can see 
can barely get my tweaker under there, but now you've unlocked this. Looking at the connector, power, wire side right here, you're gonna wanna remove the first four microphone wires. These are the positive microphone wires. These are the only wires you have to remove. Once removed, active noise canceling is completely disabled. So the next step, we've got the power wire and we've got the first four wires in the connector. These tiny little holes here are where the connector connects. This is where you unlock each individual pin. Okay, so to make things easier, because pulling on tiny little wires is very difficult, what I do is I pick the wire I wanna pull, which is gonna be this one right here. This is the orange and green wire. I put my tweaker screwdriver through it so I can put some pressure on that wire. Then I come around to this side and I insert my tool into here. All right, you'll see I've got it in there underneath the white piece here. So this white piece moves up and down. And if I just move it up, I've just depinned it and the pin slides out. So we just pull this one out and put it off to the side. Let's repeat the process one more time. So we slide it right in. So here's the little hole. We're gonna slide it in right above that. We're going to put our tweaker to put pressure on the wire. By the way, while you're handling this piece, you may squeeze it. And in doing so, you may relock this connector. So just make sure that is, see how half of it's closed? I've already started to relock the connector from squeezing it. So we're gonna go back and make sure the entire locking mechanism is open. There's one. Let me back off so you guys can see a little better. Okay, where's the next wire? There's the next one. So one, two, three. And the last one. There we go. Four, that's it. I recommend that you tape them off. So I'm gonna go ahead and use painter's tape. Those of you that are currently in the comments section right now about to blast me about using painter's tape. Uh the reason for that is electrical tape under heat leaves a nasty residue and I want to repin these connectors as soon as my pack harness comes in the next day. So I use painter's tape temporarily to protect the heads from damage without leaving behind a nasty electrical tape residue. Okay, once you're done, you just go ahead and plug all this stuff back in. Oh, and don't forget to lock this up again with your finger there, close that off so that's locked, and then go ahead and reinstall this. And now you have officially disabled active noise canceling. This does not affect your phone calls. It does not affect noise canceling on your phone calls. It doesn't affect voice commands or anything else in the vehicle. And to be honest with you, after disabling this and driving with the windows closed on the highway, I do not notice any differences. So there's really nothing to be concerned about by disconnecting these things. When you wanna to go to reinstall these, it's super simple. These plugs only go in one way. And basically, once you've unlocked this piece here, you just slide it right in. And again, excuse the lighting, having issues with uh, daylight over here. First wire to go in is the orange green wire. That's number one here. You get that nice satisfying click once it's locked in place. Next one to go in is orange violet. That's your second positive connection. Again, right there, the number two slot. Push that in so you hear that click. Next one is the brown white wire. And then you also want to check, just give them a quick tug, make sure they're not coming out. Last one to go in is the brown-orange wire. It's hard to do at an angle you guys can see. 
All right, so once all the wires are back in, lock it up again. And that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please gently press that like button. If you're interested in following along on the journey of upgrading my stereo system, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. The next video in the series is on upgrading just the speakers. We've got four 6x9 three-way Infinity reference speakers going in the doors and two three and a half two-way Infinity reference speakers going in the dash. Can't wait to share that one with you and tell you my opinion on what it sounds like with just a speaker upgrade. See you guys in the next one.